Hey friend, George Lynch with Legendary Gear. Just want to thank you for purchasing our Exit Goose Call with practice. That Exit Goose Call is designed to give you many, many hours out in the field of success. So what we're going to do is a quick presentation of a starting point of how to get started, hand placement and air presentation, how to get started with your Exit Goose Call. Let's start out with the hand placement. I like to set the, the call in the apex between the thumb and my forefinger. As we come down, I do, I'd like to keep the middle finger up on the ledge of the end of my insert. Now, another key thing here is a lot of guys want to leave their hands up. I like to bring my hands down and leave in this pocket. Without that, you're choking the call off. So by raising that up, we're putting a little pocket in here. Now, the second point, this will be called your call hand. This will be your left hand. If you're right-handed, the left hand will be called the off hand. What I like to do with my off hand, you'll see how the thumb has an indentation right here. I like to match up the indentations of my thumb and come down with my hand a little bit. And what this does, it gives me a better pitch and an opening for my off hand. The off hand is what I call the woofers. It's the, it gives you your hollow goose. It, 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 it works a lot as a speaker for your goose call. So again, the off hand, and then the call, this is the call hand and then the off hand. Now, the important thing is the air presentation. Now we've gone through that. The air presentation isn't a <laughs> grinding. It doesn't come from the gut. We've talked about this before. You have to have where's your air point, the pressure point. So what I'm doing is I'm sucking in my air. When you suck and stop, the air stops right here at the base of your Adam's apple. So when we hold it, take your, suck your air in, Hold it right here, and when the tip of the tongue behind my bottom lip, the bottom lip sits below the call, just like I was drinking a bottle of soda, my top lip will run on the rim of the top of the call. And I don't put near as much pressure on the bottom lip as I do the top lip, because the top lip is really working and sealing that call. Now, once we're there, tongue behind the bottom teeth, suck that air in, and what I'm gonna do is a with a U sound. Now that is teaching me air control and it's teaching me voice control at the same time. So if you're doing it right, and this is the exercise, it's gonna start and it's gonna sound like this. Again. Now, once I've practiced and I've gotten them, what I'm trying to get is a base, a, a straight line and the sound of that call coming out. Once you've learned it, and that's going to take the learning to control that air and that voice at the same time. That's why this exercise is important. Now, once we've, we've gotten there, because you need to crawl, walk, and then run. We're in the crawling stage right now. So now we're going to go to a... And what I'm doing when I'm getting, I'm pushing the air more at the end and the arch of my tongue comes up actually to the roof of my mouth. So it's kind of stopping that. So you're getting a. Now see by being, keeping my bottom lip loose and my top lip sealed, that bottom lip can work as a leverage. You watch my bottom lip. With the top lip not moving, keeping it sealed, but using that bottom lip. Now that was going to sound like this once we get this, put it together. What we're doing is we've learned to stretch that out and learn to stop it. And we're using that throat. And as we get that, what I'm doing is starting to shorten it up. So we're going from a honk to a cluck to the fast cluck. That's what this one exercise is going to teach you guys.
right there, you work that exercise. I hope it helps you out getting started on the honk and to the cluck, to the fast cluck. For more details, you can go to Legendary Gear USA or go to our YouTube, which is Legendary Gear with George Lynch. I hope this all helps you out. And remember, hunt safe, hunt smart, and may the good Lord be your guide.